Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to make one thing very clear. On this channel, we are looking for Jesus Christ, not the Antichrist. However, we can see very clearly that this world is ready to accept this coming Antichrist, this coming false messiah, when the time comes. So I was having a conversation with my brother in Christ, Marty Breeden, earlier today. Love you, brother Marty. He's an awesome brother in Christ. Um, very reliable source. But we were talking about the Messiah Clause that's in Jerusalem rental contracts. I never heard about this before. Brother Marty apparently just found, about, found out about this as well. And many of you had sent me this, what you see on the screen right here. Um, now, for the last few years, there's been different sources reporting on this. But check this out. This is insane, folks. This is in from Huffington Post. Article titled, Messiah Clause in Jerusalem Rental Contracts Makes Apartments Ready for the Second Coming. There's many other sources and articles that talk about this subject. But I want to share with you what my brother in Christ, Marty Breeden, sent me. And this is insane, folks. Listen to this. This has only been happening since about 2014, so about the last 10 years. I've confirmed this as truth. And by the way, guys, I researched this and looked into this myself. And this is very true, what I'm sharing with you. I've confirmed this as truth, and it's becoming more prevalent now than ever. Recently, I read something that absolutely amazed me. So, Jewish people who own real estate in Jerusalem and live abroad often rent their homes and apartments to other Jews. But here is the amazing thing. Today, many of these landlords and homeowners have this clause in the leasing agreement. Listen to this, guys. Upon the coming of the Messiah, tenants agree to vacate the apartment within 15 days, period. Let me read this to you guys again. Today, many of these landlords and homeowners have this clause in the leasing agreement. Upon the coming of the Messiah, tenants agree to vacate the apartment within 15 days, period. Many Jerusalem residents believe not only that the Messiah will return, but that his arrival is imminent, so imminent that they have taken legal precautions to ensure they can return to Jerusalem immediately upon his return. And those Jews want to be able to live in Jerusalem close to the Messiah when he appears and move back into their properties. Now, sadly, we know as I have personally warned many of them that they are about to accept the wrong man. In fact, they will accept the coming Antichrist, believing that he is the Messiah. Remember, Jesus said this concerning the coming beast. In the book of John, chapter 5, verse 43, in context here, Jesus is speaking to a Jewish audience. The Lord Jesus Christ says the following, I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. This is very clearly speaking that the time is coming when they will accept the coming Antichrist, the coming false Messiah. My friends, we are so close to the return of the true Messiah, Jesus Christ, our Lord. But the bottom line is this. We see the world is ready to accept this coming Antichrist when the time comes. We see the Jews are ready to accept this coming false Messiah when the time comes. And if we know the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ will occur before the Antichrist is even revealed, and we see the stage getting set up for the coming Antichrist, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You'll see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on a lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. 
Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.